The wheels of the bus turn round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of the bus turn round and round. They fall off. out of town to visit a knife maker and you can see that video right here by the way I uh, I got sick went into the emergency room ended up with a triple bypass and a new heart valve that I uh, needed pretty badly apparently so uh, that's why I've been gone for the last few months apologize for that but today I'm, I'm, I'm in the process of making a snack here but today we're, we're gonna talk about Chinese knives are they good are they bad are they worth the money uh, are the materials that are used in Chinese knives, are they real? Uh, we're going to talk about Chinese knives today, but you know, we've done several videos in my kitchen, and this isn't nearly as much fun as going out, so let's go down to San Antonio, to the Riverwalk, and um, let's talk down there. Follow me. China knives. Knives made in China. Are they any good? Do you get what you pay for when you get a knife made in China? Are the materials real? Well, there was a time when they weren't. There was a time when the only knives you can get from China were the really inexpensive ones where you buy 20 knives for $10 or 30 knives for 20 that kind of thing. Um, I won't mention the name of the company, but the knives weren't particularly well made. And, uh, and that dominated what we thought of as being China knives for a number of years. They did a very good job, by the way, of getting those knives manufactured and, uh, and getting them over here. And they sold a bazillion of them, very successful business model. But they weren't the best knives. Uh, since then, things have changed a lot. These days, there's some great knives. A lot of noise down here. I don't know if you can hear all that. But there's some great knives coming out of China. For me, Kaiser knives was the first knife I saw coming out of China that was of very high quality. They were great knives. Fit and finish was excellent. They were put together really well. Uh, most importantly, the materials were very, very good. They were using some of the state-of-the-art materials that we typically weren't seeing before out of China. Now, there may have been other knife manufacturers before that that were doing that. But Kaiser, for me, was the first one. And it was followed closely by a couple of other knife manufacturers. Some good examples of that now are Wee Knives uh, with Civivi. Uh, they have a really nice line of knives. And, and we, we get them in the store. By the way, go see our store, bcknife.com, or come see us in Midland. So Wee Knives, great brand, Wee Knives. And then they have a, a line that's a little lower cost. Really good stuff, just the steel isn't as high end as a lot of the Wee Knives are. Uh, and I believe that's Civivi. Then you also have QSP, another great China brand. You know, there's some good stuff. And there's some of the best knives that we carry. Uh, there's also some kitchen cutlery that's really coming along, uh, where you see Wusthof um, beginning to have some issues and, and other brands. We see uh, companies like Kangshan actually developing manufacturing, an entire manufacturing plant here in, uh, in Austin, Texas, which is not far from here. Um, Kang Shans just seems to be doing everything right. Really wide selection. Their knives vary in the, the quality of the steel. So you get those knives in every price range. <clears throat> and the prices are, are great. But uh, really some fine knives. And, and they are doing some knives in the high-end powdered steels that a lot of these other companies, like Wusthof, hasn't been doing yet. Um, you know, Wusthof is much more traditional. Love Wusthof. Love their knives. Love the family. But... Honestly, it's, it's the higher end steels that's going to win in the end of the day. And Kang Shan is showing that by taking market share every day from other companies that are, 
are trying to stay traditional. And, um, you know, these traditional steels aren't nearly as good as a lot of these new steels they're coming out with. So Kang Shan also at bcknife.com, you can buy them there. If you're looking for a knife that holds an edge for a long time, it's Kang Shan. Uh, so those are just three examples of higher-end China knives that are really, really doing well in the marketplace. Our customers love them. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a simple answer to a simple question. Can you get great knives out of China? Yeah, you can. And they're really impressive. It just took some time. That's all, just like anything. So you could make the case, why get a knife out of China at all? Plenty of great knives are made here in the U.S. Spyderco is a really good example of that. Great knives, lots and lots of great steels, different types of steels. We, we love Spyderco. Uh, really well made. Um, and there's others too. I won't go through the litany of different brands. We've got them on our website. But, uh, you know, why not get it here, made here in the USA? And I think that's a, that's a great thing. Definitely buy in the U.S. if you can. But if you're looking for a knife, you don't want to rule out the China knives. A great example of a, a U.S.-made kitchen cutlery that's doing really well for us right now is Lampson. Lampson does some fine work. Their uh, fit and finish is excellent. Uh, blades are good. They're not powdered steel yet. I hope they'll do that here in the near future, but, but they are definitely U.S.-made. Definitely great fit and finish. Uh, I love the way they feel. And man, if you're looking for a, a good price point on a knife, Lampson, if you're looking for US, Lampson is definitely a good option for you. Highly suggest you look at them. I've had more than a few people suggest to me that we shouldn't carry knives made in China. And they're not exactly our friend, especially right now, if you can believe what we're being told. Um, it makes it hard to justify buying knives from there. But honestly, we've become one world uh, economy and you can't ignore them. And they're coming on strong and they're making us compete. And we're doing just that. Again, there's some great US companies, but uh, I wouldn't discount the China knives at all. You know, if you need something, whether it's made in the USA and we carry a lot of USA brands, or whether it's a brand that comes out of China, one thing you could always count on is that if you buy it at bcknife.com or you come down to our store in Midland at Fairclaw, you're going to get a lot of a lot of knife for the money. Um, you're never going to get ripped off. You're never going to pay too much for a knife. And uh, I I make sure that everything is in in there is is of high quality. Whether it's a twenty dollar knife or a two thousand dollar knife, it's going to be worth the money. And and you can know that. Um, you always get a great deal at Bear Claw, and we sure do appreciate your business. If you can buy American. Buy American. If not, I'm not going to fault you for getting a China knife. Are China knives great? Sure they are. Um, would I buy one? I have several. So go to bcknife.com. While you're at it, maybe buy a little something. And while you're here, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Ring the bell. It sure is good to be back out on the road again. Uh, after open heart surgery, it feels, feels good to be back out. I'm feeling pretty good, and I'm actually going to be in the store for the first time this weekend. So uh, looking forward to that. I'll fly back up to Midland tomorrow. So I hope to see you all out there, those of you that live in the Permian Basin. Uh, and until next time, we'll see ya.